right, uh, good evening. Happy weekend, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me tonight in my humble stream here, Friday Night Acoustic Sessions. Hope everybody's having a nice weekend. Whether it's Friday evening or Saturday morning, wherever you're at in the world, we have a global audience. I do appreciate um, all of you uh, either having dinner with me or, or having breakfast at this time. And, uh, or maybe you're at the bar. I don't know. Maybe you're watching on your phone. or I doubt they have me on the big screen with all the sporting events going on. <laughs> but if you're there, you know, I appreciate you checking me out for... Uh, as little or as much time as you spend. And um, so thank you. Thank you very much to the new subscribers this week as well. It's very, uh, it, it means a lot. I appreciate that a lot. A lot of people don't realize how, how, how much that, that helps out a streamer, the, the subscriptions, the views and everything. So thank you very much. And um, Manny, hola Manny, muchas gracias, saludos. Y también bendiciones siempre también para ti. Hermano, muchas gracias. Bob Korzanowski, welcome. Happy weekend, buddy. Out there in sunny Arizona. But, you know, it's a, it's a dry heat, right? It's a dry heat out there in Arizona. Uh, the contrast from um, Uncle Steve's in the house. Hello, Uncle Steve, out in hot and humid Florida. At the time last uh, we chatted, it was uh, about, what, 87? And you were poolside. So I hope you're not suffering too much out there in that heat and humidity. Uncle Steve, thanks for hanging out tonight with us. Appreciate it. All right. <laughs> Try heat. I will start off with a couple of mellow acoustic tunes. I have a couple of additions, new, newer additions. This is one that um, I, I didn't even have this one on the set list, but I, it just came to mind right now. So, uh, and Cynthia, hello, Cynthia, welcome. Appreciate you hanging out with us tonight here. This is one that um, I used to play a lot. I, I haven't played it in a while here. I'm gonna just play a, kind of an alternative acoustic version of it before I get started with songs with tracks and everything. So thank you very much and uh, for, for lighting up the chat there. And those of you that are hanging out in the background as well, thank you for, for stopping in and um, I appreciate that. If you enjoy what you're hearing, do consider subscribing.
a t-shirt and he's listening to a rock and roll station he's got that greasy hair and a greasy smile he says lord this must be my destination when i was younger my mama told me she said boy you're gonna be president but she's like everything else all those crazy dreams they kind of came in way oh, but ain't that america you and me ain't that america something to say baby ain't that america home of the free yeah yeah oh, little thing else is for you and me Ooh, John Mellencamp there. Going back to the day, that one wasn't even on the set list for tonight, folks. I just, uh, just had a, I don't know, not a premonition, but uh, it just crossed my mind. Nice phrasal verb. That's not the phrasal verb or the uh, idiomatic expression of the night, crossed my mind, but that is a good one. It's fitting for the moment. Yeah, it was, so it just crossed my mind. It just dawned on me another good one, and out of the blue, so I decided to play that one acoustic style there and again welcome all of you that are um, hanging out with me tonight joining us here in the live stream thanks Bob appreciate that and um, tonight's uh, let's see the farm farm news so later on I'll be putting up some pictures we have some you know the the, the mini orchard here um, the pear blossoms have started blooming which is a great sign which means pro the, the apple blossoms will be uh, starting shortly. They actually s started um, to bud, not actually blooming yet, but uh, so we have the uh, the pear uh, blossoms blooming. I'll be putting up some pictures in a, in a, in a few. Um, and also the, uh, I, I got some video footage here of the, uh, our barn cat Grace. So our barn cat, you know, she, she was due and she finally gave birth to her six little kittens. So I've got uh, the day that they were born. So you'll see a little scrawny little fellows there 
uh, and then uh, most recent as uh, yesterday. So, um, yeah, so interesting stuff. So if you're interested, in, you know, this is, every week I try to put up some farm, uh, the latest farming news is, you know, keep you guys posted on the farm and stuff like that. And, um, uh, you know, and I like to throw out an idiomatic expression or phrasal verbs. I know we have a global audience. And uh, that's another thing, you know, the phrasal verbs and idiomatic expressions. I, I feel like they're... Um, it's like a dying breed uh, among, among our, uh, our spoken language here. And, and, and I think we, we'd, I'd like to get back to that, you know. So that's kind of why I do this. I like to, a lot of English learners out there, they, you know, they hear them and they don't know quite what they mean. Um, and, and so they don't use, they refrain from using them. Uh, but I'd like to use them in context, and, and every week I try to throw out a new one there. Girasol, Gonzalez, bienvenida y muchas gracias. Saludos. Muchas gracias. Que bueno que suene bien. Eso es todo. All right, great. So that was uh, Pink Houses and um, uh, by Pink Houses by John Mellencamp. Um, all right, let's. Uh, Let's throw one out there with tracks. I'll do one or two more, and then I'll put up some of the, the pictures and videos. How's that sound? Good? Before that, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Salud.
Just a mile up the road Take it in Take it with you And you go Who says you can't go Who says you can't go on There's only one place They call the one of their own Just a hometown boy Born a rolling stone Who says you can't go Who says you can't go back Been all around the world You can't go home. Bon Jovi, little Bon Jovi music for you guys. Hope you like that. Kind of a slow down, mellower version, kind of to fit the acoustical vibe, acoustic vibe that kind of got going on here. All right, we'll do one more, and then I'm going to put some uh, some of those photos up of the pear blossoms and of uh, the uh, videos of the the new little kittens. All right, so let's do this next one here. And cheers, everybody, cheers. Sons of Pullman Porter and the 
sun is an engine Right there, father's magic carpet made of steel Mothers with their babies asleep Rocking to the channel Steve Goodman's jam there. Arlo Guthrie uh, made that one real famous as well. Uh, thank you very much there for that uh, generosity. Appreciate that filling up that chip jar. Thank you so much. And cheers. Salud. Hope it sounded okay out there. All right, we got another one coming up here. This is, all right, uh, let me put, let me, uh, let me put up some of the, uh, so as I was saying, the phrasal verb of tonight is, the, fra the idiomatic expression is cat got your tongue. So cat got your tongue, that's when you, when you, you can't find the right words, or you're just quiet for whatever reason, and somebody says, and, and normally, it's usually, Usually when used against people that are usually pretty talkative and then for whatever reason, they've got no words to say or, or they just don't want to open their mouth and say anything. And somebody say, you know, what's the matter? Cat got your tongue? You know, and, and that just means, what, you can't find the words? What, you're not gonna say anything now? Cat got your tongue. Um, no pun intended with the, um, with the birthing, of the, the birth of these cats that I was telling you about, the little kittens here. I'm gonna put them up here now. So. First one, barn cat. So I'm, everybody knows I'm on a farm. If you, if you watch the show long enough, you know that I'm on a farm. And, uh, you know, chicken farmer. And we've got all kinds of animals all over the place. You're wild and all that. And uh, a few months ago, um, a, uh, a stray, uh, stray cat 
uh, took liking to one of our barns and uh, kind of the whole farmstead. So, and she ended up uh, having kittens. She got really huge, and that's what usually happens. And <laughs> there are a couple of a uh, couple of uh, sly male cats that were uh, hanging out here months ago, and then they they did their duties, and then they took off, left her with a, with a with a with a load. And uh, anyway, uh, they were born, I believe, uh, the Saturday, Easter Saturday they were born. So this, is, this first video here is of them the day they were born. So they were just, here, there you go. Let me uh, hit the transition button here. Okay, so there you go. So that's, that was the afternoon, the same day. So she's really tuckered out there. Uh, you can see that. And those, those kittens, they're... Pretty big for kittens. Um, they're scrawny and all that, but uh, you can see she has ample supply here. She gets fed really well. There's a lot of ample supply. Look at how she takes care of them there. Isn't that beautiful? And nothing like a mother's love, I tell you. And um, it's just, she shows right there. She's all tuckered out. That was the day um, she had the, the, the kittens. And, um, you know, they're all skinny as can be, but they are big for, for little kittens. I mean, usually. They're well developed. Like I said, she a lot of protein, a lot of there's an ample supply of mice, you know, rats and uh, moles, and, and you would see her going hunting for all that stuff. Uh, so she she gets fed well, plus the, the food that, that we, we give her as well. So that's that was the day. So she's really tired. You'll see her active in the next one here. Let me let me pull up this one here. Okay. Now this one here is. This was like, uh, oh, like a week, week and a half after, two weeks after, I'm not sure. But you can see that there, uh, there goes my, my hand stuck in the way there. Uh, look at how she, she's just like uh, grooming them with her paw. Beautiful, isn't it? And, um, you know, she's got six, there's six of them there. So, six little babies, grooming them here, taking care of them. And the next one here, I have one more video of her. When she's kind of up and about, you'll see them. I think I still have that one. Let's see here. Okay. Here, she's more awake and everything. And there she is, just hanging out with them, taking care of them. This was, uh, this was just the other day. This is the, the latest. So they're, they're big, they're alive and well, and they're doing well. Uh, she takes care of them and kind of, you know, cleans them up. And I have other ones. I'll put them up later on as well. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> great, Cynthia! <laughs> great, you're a cat lover. That's awesome. Uh huh. So hope I, you know, hope we're doing it right here. We have never raised kittens before. She's a barn cat, but I don't want her. You know, we've been keeping her clean and everything like that, uh, nourished and all that. So, all right. So those are those are that's Grace and uh, her little kittens here. And now the uh, pear blossoms on the farm. This is from our mini orchard here. So these are these would be the pear. The pear, uh, pear blossoms are blooming. They're in full bloom there, so they're looking good. These I just took um, uh, yesterday afternoon, yeah, so. Pear blossoms, I know a lot of, I, there's a lot of um, Taiwanese, Chinese, and, and Korean viewers who are always telling me about their cherry blossoms, and a lot of them said they've never seen a pear blossom, so there you go. Those are pear blossoms right from my little farmstead here. And uh, this last two, these... There are some apple blossoms that are just popping out now. They're, they're, they just, but they're not in full. So next week I'll have the apple blossoms up. This is more pear blossoms. I think I have a couple, of, one of the apple blossoms coming up here. Okay, that's still pear. You got one or two more here. Oh yeah, that's the beginning of the, ap the apple blossoms there. They're, they're just budding. You can see there. You can see my mouse there, but yeah. And you see my hand, but yeah, that's a that's an apple blossom as well. But like I said, they're just coming out. Next week I'll have more pictures of that there. So, all right. Without further ado, let me. Uh, that's the, the full little tree there. Let's close this off now. And there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's uh, what's the latest news here on the farmstead. And um, chickens are laying well. So, if you're interested in eggs, you need eggs, or <laughs> look me up. Send me a message, and we'll exchange data that way if you're in the area. All right, and uh, 
So next week we'll have apple, blo apple blossoms and maybe I'll be able to get a, a shot of all the, uh, I don't know if they're going to coordinate themselves, but I'd like to get a shot of the, uh, the apple and the pear together blossoms. And then if not, the peach blossoms in the back, because in the back I have the peach blossoms, but they, they're a little lazier. They come out, uh, I don't want to say lazy, I shouldn't say that because they give us a lot of fruit at the end of the year. So they're, they just take their time. They're late bloomers. No pun intended on the late bloomer there. <laughs> All right, cheers, everybody, and let's... Uh... Here, here. <laughs> Uncle... <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm getting messages up the wazoo here that uh, people want some of the kittens. You got to come out and get them. So talk to me offline here, and... Uh... Yeah, that's... Okay. Let's see here, so... I, I, yeah, you know, a lot of people tell me they can't get into the chat. I don't, I don't know why. Um, and they are subscribed, so I don't know. There, there is um, a reported problem with, with YouTube that, yeah, somebody had uh, complained on another stream, and we got a notification last week that um, a, lot of, a lot of the chat hadn't been working for some people. I, I don't know. So if you're out there trying to chat and it's not working, I do apologize. Um, and if you're the one people that are here in the chat, I appreciate you getting through as well. All right. Anyway, um, thanks Rose and Megan for hanging out and, and uh, watching. And, and, and Uncle Steve, I, I know you're sending me chats through the other um, message system here. So I do appreciate that. All right. Let's. Uh, I got a new one here. I want to try this. It's, it, this one. This one. I just threw these tracks together. I think literally yesterday so um let me see here if i could find this one yeah here it is i don't even know if the house is gonna happen. yeah anyway anyhow Again, I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight and sticking around, looking at the, listening to the music first and foremost, and, and uh, you know, looking at the pictures and videos, and uh, I don't know, it's kind of cool. All right. This is a nice little story song. I hope I don't screw this up. This is, you know, this is one of the lyrically, it's, if you don't listen, hear the lyrics, it's, it's not, doesn't mean too much, but hopefully I don't uh, mess up the lyrics here. Something gets harder to see. I'm trying to adjust the fonts here. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a try. Yeah, this is a song about uh, you never know who you're talking to. <laughs> you never, you know, just always try to, I guess, be good, not for what, just try to listen to people. Sometimes people just want to be listened to, you know, they want to be heard. And, uh, you know, but anyway, this is a nice, I thought, I thought, I thought this was a nice song. I always like this one, and... Uh, I always wanted to get the tracks going on it and never did. Um, but anyway, hope you like this. And uh, this is my rendition of it.
That's a nice little song by uh, Billy Currington. People are crazy. Edith, saludos, un abrazo fuerte. Desde la Martinica, Veracruz, un abrazo fuerte. Edith y la familia, un abrazo. Muchas gracias por conectarse y escribir en el chat. Un abrazo de vuelta. Qué gusto saber de ustedes. Viva la Martinica! All right, I got another another uh, new one here. We're all crazy. <laughs> Johnny Brandmeier. <laughs> Good old Johnny Brandmeier. Johnny B. Yeah. I've got an, I've got a new one here that uh, it's not new by any means, but for me it's just uh, I, I did the tracks yesterday. I try to get one or two new ones each week and. Uh, to the repertoire, repertoire, as they say in the, the, the finer walks of life. In my repertoire. Yeah, okay. We're not going there. So I'm going to do one more, and I might play some off my album and uh, off my, some singles that are upcoming. I want to hit this uh, new, uh, this uh, 
old but new one with tracks here, if I could find it here. There it is, I found it, look at that. All right, gotta get the right harp. So <clears throat> this is in C, if you wanna blow along with me, guys. This is in C now. And we need some of this. Hoping to throw it up. Cheers, everybody, cheers. BK. Where's that little thing at? I can't see that far. I have a little, uh, it's like a, what do you call these, an emoticon or a, uh, a gif, a little image where it says subscribe and it's got a little finger, a little mouse that shows you where to do it. I was looking, I, I, I can't f quite see that. I can't find the little button to click to activate it, but you'll see it. At the, it was at the beginning on the, on the intro page and it'll be again on the, on the end. And just, you know, if you're in the background or if you, you're, you're uh, looking to subscribe or something like that, yeah. If you're, if you're enjoying what you're hearing, appreciate that. All right, so <clears throat> let's see what we're doing with this one here. Okay, six fret. All right, so that, no, it's not Piano Man. We did that last week. This is not Piano Man, although it could be. But it's not, it's not. And it's not Let It Bleed either. There's a lot of people here, isn't it? Oh, that's Let It Bleed. It, it sounds very close to my rendition of Let It Bleed, that is. Uh, but we're not doing that one tonight. This is this is another one. So I hope um, yeah, I hope this one. You guys like this one. <clears throat> and, and the lyrics to this are so true, so true. Uh, and uh, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about when you hear it. I don't want to give it away, but you know about uh, how songs affect you. And uh, another idiomatic expression, misery loves company. This is like maybe the epitome of that the phrase, that idiomatic expression. We're well, getting a lot of idioms this, this, this week. Yeah, um, misery loves company. So, uh, yeah, we'll talk more about that after.
Thank you for subscribing and joining us here at the uh, live acoustic sessions. I'm Tony Miller. Welcome. Thank you so much for those new subscriptions out there hanging out with us tonight. Every Friday I do this, and um, I'm going to do a song uh, off my album. Uh, let's see here. What are we going to do here? Hmm. All right. I got this album out called um, uh, Better Late Than Never. And um, this is the only train song on it. <laughs> Why do I say the only train song? I like, I like songs about trains. And we did one earlier, the, the, um, the city of New Orleans. Um, a few weeks back we did a Can't You See, that was a train song. So we're gonna do, um, I haven't done anything off my album recently, so I wanna do this one tonight and then we'll, we'll do an, another, some more covers there. All right, so let me just get situated and find a harp. This one's in D. Yeah, this is in D, so grab your, uh, your harps there. Nevado Pixel. How you doing out there? Appreciate you. Hitting that subscribe button there. And if you want to listen to my album uh, for free, it's on all the streaming services, of course, you know. You have to have a subscription to those, but if you don't have a subscription, you can, on YouTube, they're all over. I, I have a, uh, a link here. It's pinned to the chat. If you look at the chat, scroll all the way 
just look at the top. You don't have to scroll because it is pinned. Um, if you click on, uh, well, that's, that's the, the support jar. But if you just go to TonyMillerBand.com, just remove the, the tip part. Just TonyMillerBand.com, and then you'll see the little bio of me. And, and uh, if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see the, my album, uh, Better Late Than Never, and you can stream those songs for free there if, in case you're not uh, affiliated with any kind of streaming service. Um, and uh, yeah, this is track two off my album, Better Late Than Never. And it's called Easy Come, Easy Go. I hope you like it. And if you don't, well, there's other songs on the album. <laughs> yeah. Count on, always count on corny jokes here. That's, you know, you can count on the corny jokes, a phrasal verb or an idiomatic expression weekly, and the, the pharma, pharma updates. Yeah, those of you who missed out, uh, we, we, if you look back at the replay later on, you'll see we had, I had uh, the uh, uh, barn cat and her baby kittens that were born this uh, past three weeks, and uh, the pear blossoms that have been blooming in my little orchard here. And next week we'll be doing, uh, we'll give you some updates on the kitten and uh, the cats, the kittens and the cat, and then the apple blossoms should be in full bloom by then. Lucas! Thank you so much, Lucas, for the nice comment there. Thank you. And welcome. Thank you for subscribing. It just find the song and I'll load it into the tracks on it. Here we go, there it is here. Again, this is um, this song I wrote some years ago. It's about life's journey, basically. It's, 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 uh, you know, just a kind of a, a quick summary of it. It's full of metaphors and things like that. It's a metaphorical train.
Come, easy go, off my album, Better Late Than Never. Thank you so much for those nice comments there, Lucas. Thank you very much. God bless you, buddy. Thank you very much. Cindy from Taiwan, welcome. All right. Hope it's sounding good out there, all the way in Taiwan. That's what's a wonderful thing about uh, live streaming and internet, you know, connecting and, and everything like that. Really, really nice. All right, a few more here for you. I'm going to do, uh, let's see here. This one I haven't done in a while. I want to get this one done. Oh, this one here. Yeah, let's do this one. This is going to be... Sharp.
Okay, do that, that, and that one. So, find this one up here. Okay. <clears throat> Another classic song from the 80s. Hope, uh, hope I do it, do justice to it here, justice. And uh, we'll see. In other words, I hope I don't butcher it. <laughs> Nothing worse than butchering a song on a live stream. Been there, done that. Things down here a little bit. 
and get this off for a moment or two. All right. Once again, thanks everybody for, 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 uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Nevada Pixel. I'm glad you like that one, man. Appreciate that. Try to mix it up a little bit with, with a, a mixture of different things and put my own twist on things. Um, and this next one here, this is, I, I, I've done this for a couple, couple weeks now and I don't think you've ever heard it. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we've ever coincided. This is going on. Long distance dedication. This is from Uncle Steve and Aunt Lynn for 49 years of marriage. 50, I think it's 51 together. Um, so this one, love you guys, and I hope, I hope, it, hope you guys like this song. And, um, you know, I know you guys are poolside right now, so enjoy. Anyway, this is going on for you, you guys. not brick house so I think Uncle Steve maybe you maybe had you know keep drinking the more you drink the better I sound but I think you think you want life house not brick house right I hope I hit that nail on the head with that one Eileen welcome welcome 
All right, glad you liked the kitten's video there, Eileen. <laughs> Thank you very much for those kind words, Cynthia. The checks are going out in the mail. I, I'm going to be, you, keep, you guys keep saying these nice things. I'm going to start believing it. <laughs> Thank you very much. God bless you all. All right, I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to, this next one here is uh, one of my favorite songs to play. I'm going to end it on this one, and I'll see you guys next week, God willing. Once again, thank you all. Hope you have a beautiful weekend. However you spend it, and with whomever you spend it with. All right, and yeah, the next live's coming up next week again. We're, we'll be hitting some new phrasal verbs, idiomatic expressions. Uh, t tonight's idiomatic expression was, again, it was, cat got your tongue. <laughs> I just got that message wrong. Okay, so it was Brick House, yeah. Uh, I don't know Brick House, Uncle Steve, but uh, I, thought you, I thought you had a few too many and you wanted Life House. <laughs> Anywho, anyway, anyway. Uh, Cheers, cheers. And um, let's see here. So, yeah, we have uh, next week. Um, well, tonight was Cat Got Your Tongue. We went over that one. Next week, I don't know, it'll be, that's to be announced. And we went over the, the, the kittens videos today. And um, farm, farm notes, farm uh, updates. And we looked at some of the pear blossoms. Next week, I'll, I hope to have the apple blossoms and further down the line, the peach blossoms as well. With this one, I'm going to say good night. You all have a nice weekend, and God bless, and we'll see you next time. And thanks again for hanging out with me.
words to every sad song seem to say what I find this hurt inside of me. Thanks, everybody. God bless. We'll see you next week. Take care.